Between the Pacific Ocean and the San Gabriel Mountains lies the LA River, once home to native fish like the endangered steelhead trout. Not too long ago, the steelhead used the river to reach the mountains for spawning, until the city's urbanization expanded along the river and barriers were built to control flooding, with less concern for fish and wildlife. Is it possible that the native trout can find their way back to the river? Here's the promising news. Recently, experts reported a thriving steelhead population of 400 to 500 and counting in some of the upper river tributaries like the Arroyo Seco, where the natural habitat presents prime conditions for the fish's return. The caveat? Warm waters, fast velocities, and of course, too little water resulting in shallow depth. To solve this, a team of experts are spearheading the LA River Fish Passage and Habitat Program, a restoration effort that analyzes fish-friendly ways to modify the concrete channel from the Elysian Valley to Washington Boulevard. These efforts will help bring back native fish and offer enjoyable recreational opportunities, and the experts are making it happen in three steps. Our first step was to collect any and all available information on steelhead. And what we learned was that despite all the challenges they face, they're still persisting their fish right here in this stream. And the biggest problem that they're facing is that as they try to swim downstream to access the ocean, just like the adults trying to swim upstream from the ocean to access this habitat, they're just not able to make it. And to reach this habitat, they would need multiple storm events that create high enough flows that allow fish to swim upstream. But the problem is, is that those high flow events can create water velocities that are too high. So what we need to do is create a roughness in the bottom of the channel that provides velocities that are okay for fish to swim upstream against. The key here is finding a balance between increasing roughness and maintaining suitable levels of flood protection during storm events. Adding boulders and structures like fish pockets or pools along the channel bed reduces flow speed and helps fish swim upstream with less effort. Deepening the channel will also make passage easier. Another approach is to expand the river to allow for suitable habitat and flood protection. But widening ultimately increases time, money, and complexity of the final design. With all that in mind, the second step of the design process was born through testing hydraulic models. Step two of the process is the 30% design phase. And at this phase, a range of alternatives are developed for the project that allows different trade-offs be evaluated for the project's complexity. How to deploy vegetation cover and help fish cope with warm water temperatures. Then the design team further refined the modifications to balance considerations like construction cost, schedule, and permitting. The federal LA River Ecosystem Restoration Project just received its green light from Congress to go into the construction phase. So that project, which stretches from the north side of Griffith Park all the way down to First Street in downtown LA, will be able to begin restoring aquatic riparian native habitat throughout those 11 miles of the river while maintaining the critical flood risk management that the river provides. An amazing synergy exists between the Fish Passage Pilot Project and the Federal LA River Ecosystem Restoration Project. And so the Fish Passage Pilot Project will be able to extend and build on and enhance the uh, restoration that is achieved under that federal plan. In short, the pilot project, our third step in the design process, is the solution to a manageable, cost-effective approach while still providing appropriate levels of fish passage and flood control. It focuses on a quarter-mile stretch of the river called Reach 8A, where existing depths are up to 1.5 feet. Because of the existing depth in this section, high levels of concrete replacement are avoided. Simple elements would be added like boulders, staggered fish pockets, and additional channel depth at shallow sections. So what does this mean for us? Well, we can expect to enjoy a real river in LA with native fish in it. Other designs for this area propose recreational opportunities, including metro bikeways, viewpoints, and much more an enriching, sustainable river in the urban center of Los Angeles 
will be a grand feat, and it will ultimately show our care for local wildlife in a way that keeps us all safe.